Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to sanitize your wooden hamster toys. Now I'm going to be showing you two different methods, one of which works better for specific toy types. The first method is going to be the easiest one for most people and can be used for most wooden toys. The only toys I would suggest not using this method on are toys with bark on the outside and toys that have been dyed or a different colour other than their natural colour. For those types of toys, the second method would be better. Fill up a sink or bowl with boiling water and a dish soap of your choice. The brand of dish soap really doesn't make a difference. Fully submerge the toys in the water, being careful not to burn your hands when you do this, and leave them soaking for around about 20 minutes. After the soak has finished, you can remove them from the water and rinse off any soap suds that still remain on them. Then place them somewhere airy for them to dry for about 24 to 48 hours. It's really important for the wood to dry fully, otherwise you can run the risk of it going mouldy, so if you're unsure as to whether or not it's dry, leave it for a little longer. The second method can again be used for pretty much all wooden toys, this time including those with bark on them or that have been dyed another colour. All you have to do is heat up your oven to around about 100 degrees Celsius and place the toys inside once again for about 20 minutes. Once that time has passed, carefully remove the toys from the oven and put them somewhere where they can fully cool down. For toys made of lolly sticks, it's quite difficult to clean these without them falling apart, so what I would suggest doing is simply throwing those away when you're done with them and just recreating a new one. Do keep in mind, if your hamster has come into contact with any wooden toys while they have a contagious sickness, the best thing to do with those toys is to throw them away to make sure that your hamster doesn't re-catch that sickness. The same rule goes if you have a hamster that dies of a sickness and you want to pass their toys on to a different hamster, make sure any wooden toys that they came into contact with while they were sick get thrown away so that disease doesn't get passed on. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!